Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Genso oh, sorry, Sengoku Gensokyo. I almost said that backwards. Alright, so we last left off, we finished off Yukari, got them to join us, then we tried to sequence break by attacking, declaring war on the uh, Yakumon clan, and uh, Yukari said no. So, we tried to attack the fairies, and they said no as well. So we gotta deal with, deal with a few things. So, I actually... We got a few things we can do. So first, let's go to our items. Who is using what right now? You're using an amulet, short sword. Keen, I don't want you using that short sword. Yuka, you can have the short sword. Also, I completely forgot to re-equip the dowsing rod. We'll need to fix that. Unfortunately, the only person that's really going to benefit from the dowsing rod is a generic at the moment, so they'll have to do. Who else we got? Medicine. You don't need defense, you need wisdom. Anyone else? You can have an amulet. Okay, so there you go. Everyone's all geared up. Uh, we, d we still need to get 8,000 Oki before we can actually, you know, do any attacking. But I'll work with what I got. Oh, also, since while we're at it, let's level you up. This does not help with, you know, making money, but that's okay. Shikiyaki. There you go. Okay, that went pretty well. Let's actually... Yeah, let's go ahead and do our event. Ask the villagers for help. We want you... And you to take care of it for now. Actually, you don't need to do it. Who should do it? It's not really a good option. Yeah, might as well. Alright, good for him. Why do they end up at the village every time they set out for the lake? Rainbow and Marissa went to the human village to try and sort out and investigate the puzzle. This place is the col uh, closest to the lake, so maybe we'll get some good info here. I wonder if the, the lake is really the same as it was before. They went, they then went around talking to the villagers they saw and asking them about the lake. Eh? The lake? Something happened there? Hmm, I can't tell you much about it, I'm afraid. This place is, that place is dangerous, so I try not to go there. I'm sorry, but I don't go to the lake often, so I'm not really sure what you're talking about. You know, the ice fairy, the ice fairy is there, the ice fairy there, right? She froze my crops before, she is was such a pain. Be careful of her. Speaking of fairies, there were a trio of them causing a big fuss at the reservoir recently. Water is precious here, so I gave, uh, gave chase, but as soon as I got close, those fairies, as soon as they noticed me, they just disappeared without a sound. I heard something about a, a lake just before, uh, before though. Is that related, maybe? Then they took a break to sort out the information they gathered. It seems like not a single one of them knows what we're talking about for sure. That last villager, he talked about a trio of fairies. Does that bring anything to your mind? Hmm, sorta. But nothing that makes a huge impression. This is worrying. We won't be able to solve this mystery at this rate. We need to find out more details. Fairies, a trio of fairies disappeared without a trace or sound. Hey, Rainbow. When we went to the lake, were you able to hear anything? Now that you mention it, it was almost entirely silent except for the buzzing in my ears. Now that sounds uh, that's sounding suspicious. That seems to be related, yeah. I think we should try and find out who, who we're dealing with. And how would uh, how we would investigate a trio of fairies? That doesn't sound doesn't that, uh, sorry, doesn't sound like it'd be terribly easy. Sounds, uh, sounds like it'd be terribly actual, or terrible actually. Let's see what we can do, do though. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied here. That's probably what I get for doing multiple uh, videos at a time. Okay, now we need 20 res to, uh, to consult Akio. So, let's go ahead and do that. We'll use... We'll use you guys. Rainbow and Marissa went to visit Akio to inquire about fairies who could conceal their sounds and figures. Akio, are you there? Hi, how may I help you, uh, the two of you? came to take a quick peek at the Gensokyo Chronicles. Oh, again? 
I thought you looked uh, through it quite a bit already. Actually, it's for this and that, and so on and so forth. I see, so it is about such and such. What the heck are you two on about? Ah, just ignore that, please. I shall bring it here, so please wait a little while. Aki disappeared into the mansion and eventually reappeared, holding several volumes of books. Phew. So you two would like to investigate further on a cer certain trio of fairies, correct? Ah, uh, I am so touched. Uh, hey, what's wrong? Kentucky has changed so much throughout the generations of Hiei days. But to see that the Kentucky Chronicles, a creation of the first generation, is fulfilling its purpose, it makes me feel very emotional. That's just slightly creepy. Anyway, does a trio of fairies ring any bells? A trio of fairies certainly is not an everyday sight. I believe this is what you are looking for. Akio took one of the many volumes of the Chronicles out, and as she spoke, and flipped the pages until it settled on something regarding fairies. She then opened it up to, for Rainbow and Rested to see. Hmm. The light bending uh, sunny milk. The sound manipulating Luna Child. The, and the animate detecting star sapphire. I feel like I've seen them uh, somewhere before. Your experience of, re of returning to the village after setting out for the lake can be explained by this. How so? Every object in this world requires light to be reflected off it for the eye to, re to recognize it. If light were to bend around me, my figure would not be seen. Furthermore, if you think about it the opposite way, reflecting light into, onto the scenery in a creative way can make something similar to an optical illusion. So you mean, we were going towards what looked like the lake, but we were actually heading towards the village instead. That would be that would also use your their ability to detect animate objects to sense your presence, then use their ability to conceal sound to confuse your sense of direction. That's a pretty uh, good plan for a bunch of fairies, honestly. How can we get around it, though? Well, waiting for a rainy day would be the best option, but the weather is not something you can count on. Nah, we don't need to wait for that. I've got a plan. Just as I expected, Marissa. I always I always had faith in you. Yep, yep. Pour it on. Anyways, now that we know there are tricks, there's nothing to it. Just leave it all to me. I have no idea what you're planning, but since you're so confident, confident I'll do just that. I'm glad to, to have been of help. Yeah, thanks a bunch. Yep, yep. See ya. Aki uh, held her book close to her chest as she watched the two often high spirits. Ah, who would have thought that I could be useful to someone? I'm so glad I helped, uh, helped the right use in Tokyo Chronicles. And thank you as well, Lady Yukari. Okay, well that was all of our actions, so turn in. And now they're attacking us. I can live with that. So... Start with our newest team. We're gonna use all you peoples. What do we got? Tank, ranged, ranged, everything. So let's get one more melee. I guess we can get another melee in. So close range, close range. Technically, medium range is fine for her. Close range. Far, far. Okay. Let's do this. Hello, Mima. Hi, Sarna. Mima actually did a melee attack. That's probably not smart of her. Uh, Cerno's special ability, I think, is like a multi... It's like a random AoE hit that can also slow. I think that's what it is. It's been a while since I've played this game. Give me Mima. That's not giving me Mina. Mima. Mima. 
is oh uh hades just got mistia look at the events. Okay, we don't actually need to do anything anymore. We can actually attack the fairies directly now. Well, that's the idea, anyway. I wouldn't mind getting Yuka caught up, though. Let's go ahead and level you up. And level you up again. should be good. Alright, now let's go ahead and spend one turn developing. I think that'll be good. Which I don't use you. is actually getting gradually higher at the moment. Oh, and Hades just got Kamachi. Neat. Let's go ahead and develop again, because I actually want to go ahead and get that item as soon as possible. want. Thank you. Alright, so who should get what? Mercy getting Master Spark would be, or getting the uh, extra health would be good, pretty good. But I think... want to give it to Yuka. Then I can give a short sword to Shanghai doll. Or actually, better yet, you get the book of wisdom. Keen can get her sh the short sword back. There you go. Let's go ahead and save the game real quick. Not that we're really in any danger. Marissa once again gather in front of the human village to prepare for the trip to the lake. Now then, will the great magic e uh, user Marissa Kirasame show us what she has up her sleeve? Come on, you're making me blush. Anyways, I'll just get it started right now. She first took to the skies and pointed herself at the direction of the lake. First things first, the lake's definitely this way, right? Yes, <clears throat> yes, definitely. We've been going in the right direction, but somehow keep getting lost, uh, lost and in ended up where we started. And that's all the work of a of a few fairies who can manipulate sound and light. Got that? Got that so far? Uh huh. So, what do we do about it? Don't rush me. Geniuses take time, you know. Give it some thought. How do you uh, sense light and sound? Through my eyes and ears, obviously. What kind of question is that? Yep, yep. That's why the answer is real simple. Marissa then uh, alighted from her trademark sorry alighted from her trademark broom to stand next to it, leaving it pointed in the direction of the lake. Now, meet our special guest, the world's one and only mysterious flying broom. Accompanied by the only person in the world who can ride said broom. This ain't the time for jokes. Now, one last question. Does this broom have eyes or ears? For all I know, it may be some monster broom, but as far as I can see, no, it doesn't. 
We have a winner. This is indeed a normal flying room. It doesn't have eyes or ears, so... Ah, I see. This room certainly won't be affected by sounds or the scenery. Alright, all this room's heading straight for the lake. We're gonna uh, follow it right behind it and not look away for even one second. Let's go. At Mercer's signal, the broom began moving forward, with Rainbow and the rest following behind it. The area became bewildering and soundless, but they pressed on, following the broom, and then f finally... I can see the lake. The lake spread out before their very eyes, and right nearby were three fairies shocked and spe speechless. Ah, no way! Our special trick was solved so simply. So, this was your work, huh? I'll admit that the trick was surprisingly effective, but in the end, it's still just a prank from some simple-minded fairies. Looks like some punishment's coming right up. Ooh. At desperate times like these, we have to show them what we're made of. You'll pay for looking down on us fairies. Star, come on, say something inspiring. Uh, I kind of want to go home and rest. I can't, huh? Obviously. Let's go. We'll make sure not a single strand of your hair will go unruffled. Somehow this feels a little underwhelming. Well, whatever. Prepare yourselves. Okay, Rumia and the, th the Light Fairies. Should be simple enough. Ah! Sunny Milk is completely immune to ranged attacks. That's her special ability. be very annoying if you can't remember which is which. Oh, and the child decided the melee uh, medicine. So she took reduced damage, and Luna Child took uh, more damage back, as well as got debuffed. So, next step. She's immune to that. I should be able to attack you just... Oh! Luna Child is practically immune to uh, melee attacks. So, with all that cleared up, I just leave Star Sapphire. I have no choice but to retreat from you. And then do an all retreat. And another all retreat. I have no choice but to retreat from you as well. Well, at least you're getting debuffed. Okay. remember what Star Sapphire does. That's okay. Because they're all dead. Yay, we got Rumia! So yeah, uh, Darkness reduces damage taken and will not receive counter melee counterattack damage. Nito, let's go ahead and uh, persuade her. Because why not? Gah, it's way too dark. I can't see a thing. Make it bright here already. Boo, that's selfish. Meeting with Rumia wasn't a bad idea, but the perpetual cloud of darkness uh, round, her, round her hid her figure from view. As Rayma complained, a faint figure started to emerge from within the darkness. It should be okay uh, now, right? A any more and it'll, it'll get way too bright. It's still hard to see you. Well, whatever. Will you join our army? Huh? Do you mean that you want to, uh, to play together? It's sort of like that, I suppose. And I can eat you, too. Absolutely not. Aww. I'll let you eat normal food, though. Huh? Really? I'll join, then. Rumia's eyes were twinkling as she nodded her head repeatedly. Just the mention of the word food brought an immediate reply from her. It's not going to be all meat, though. No way, I've been tricked! No, you weren't. There you go, we got Rumia. So cool. That works out rather well. So what I want to do is go ahead and do manual sort. Put you there. 
And what we want from here is that. We'll do that. Okay. So we've got a team of four there. Team of yeah, so we got three teams of four. That's not too bad. Okay, turn in. Now if we can just get Mima. Uh oh. We're under attack. And we'll go oh we can't take Alice with us. We'll take Croydal. Just so she can just so the dog can get some experience as well. Alright, um, there we go. Oh, hey Letty. I, don't, I think Letty has like a mass speed debuff or something, I don't remember. So, I die, I say. Hold a rifle. Oh, it affects everybody. Except for Letty. Interesting. Can't attack you. Oh, and they get buffed. Well, that worked well. Yeah, Marissa becomes freaking just a beast if you actually focus on leveling her. Okay. What are we do not. What are we looking here? Okay, two more attacks should do it. We'll go ahead and save. Rumia's stats are pretty a kind of average below average, really. But she does have darkness, which is kind of nice. Whoops. There we go. Who should I send? Let's start with you guys. Say in the light fairies. Okay. Okay, just the light fairies now. Okay, I can't attack you. Can't melee you. Someone needs to go into melee range. Thank you. 
yeah, fairies are tedious to deal with. But defeating them does get you access to a lot of characters you can recruit. Though they're not exactly the strongest. Well, maybe start now. Okay, and we'll go ahead and finish these guys off. Let's do it with these people. Rumia, you can be in mid. Boy doll, you need to back and mid. Okay. Apparently she's self buffed, that's fine. I can't melee you, but I can melee you, and I don't take counter attack damage. You're completely in melee range, let's uh, all retreat. Oh, I can't melee you. Perfect freeze. Yeah, random damage to random targets. Can be good, can be bad. It's just how it is sometimes. Oops. Did I get mixed up? I probably did. Okay, what else was I targeting? I got completely mixed up. So I can't melee you. taking a little bit longer than should simply because I kept, I forgot about Luna Child's ability. I always get mixed up. That's okay. This battle's just about over. Good work, Rumia. Should take care of that. Ugh. This is all a lie. A lie, I say. The so called strongest, the Yokai of Winter, Diose, and the three mischievous fairies fought valiant, uh, valiantly against the rainbow led Hakare army. But bravery was never enough. Uh, going to be enough. Ah, it's over. I can finally go back to sleep. Lady, do something. Don't be unrealistic. I can't do anything at this point. Yes, yes, you all have lost, alright? Ah. How could this be? Impossible, etc, etc. Happy? I'll be going now. Hey, where do you think you're going? Where? I'll be sleeping for a little while longer until winter arrives. Did you not read the rules? The losers will have to serve under the winter, the winners. In other words, you're all our prisoner. What did you... Sarno, what's the meaning of this? You never told me about that. I didn't know either. Pleading ignorance isn't going to work with us, I'm afraid. Well, if you want to sleep, you can certainly sleep forever. If you're talking like that, you mean... Don't you know? Those who participate then break the rules will be punished by a scary yokai. So scary that you'll practically melt away. Oh. Ah, how did it become like this? Er, why does it seem like there's less of you all... Uh, sorry, less of you all... Yeah, less, the, uh, less of you all than there's supposed to be. Hey, now that you mention it. Ah! What? Wow, how did you find me? A quick uh, look around. Run the surroundings, discovered Diose trying to sneak away without anyone noticing. She became flustered when upon Sarno finding her. You tried to run away by yourself. That's so mean. Uh, um, 
<laughs> that isn't all of them still. There. Ow! Rayma fired a needle as she turned in. A pain streak uh, rang out of the area, which looked like it had nothing in it. Ugh, how were we found? I so thought I so thought we can run away after they, they let their guard down from catching the other fairy. Wow, that's cruel. Alright, I'll... All right, y'all, behave yourselves now. It, if it's coming to this, then we refuse. Run! Hey, wait! At Starfire's command... Uh, sorry, Star Sapphire. Star Sapphire's command, the three fairies flew off at once. Remu he hesitated to chase them due to their ability to hide their figures and sounds, and soon the trail was lost. They're fast as long as, they, as it involves running away. Well, anyway, this is the end for you all, and the lake is now mine. You heartless monster! Please let me sleep! And so the lake covered in mist fell under the control of Rainbow's army. So, Sarnow, Diosi, and Lydia are our prisoners. We didn't get the Light Fairies. And there you go. We're already we're knocking these guys right out, one by one. So, we're still at war with the Hegons. Uh, the Hegon, or sorry, not Hegon. Is that right? No, not Hegon. This is Hades. So we're still at war with Hades. And uh, I'll probably take care of them next, unless I get to see more about the Scarlet Devil Mansion. So until then, everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Sengoku Gensokyo. See you guys next time.